So types of chemical bonds formed, okay, so due to this uh, receive or donates or sharing electrons, okay, so they can, uh, chemical, there are two types of chemical bonds form. Uh, one is called the ionic bond and the second one is called the covalent bond. Yeah. We should know that uh, this ionic bond is formed by uh, ions with another ion, uh, positive negative ions. These covalent bonds, it will form just by uh, sharing electrons, okay, there's no charge, yeah? they just share electrons. So that is the two types of chemical bond. Eh? Ionic bond okay, will form eh, when there is uh, atoms release electrons. Eh? So by releasing or receiving electrons, the atoms will become ions. Okay? If we have atoms, throw away electrons, they become positive. Receive electrons, they become negative. So, so receive or donate electrons, they will become ions. After they become ions, eh, then they will form ionic bond between the ions. Eh? How do we know uh, a compound is ionic or non-ionic? Okay, the ionic bond is formed between metal and non-metal. It's, it's between metals and non-metal. Okay, I'll show you a few examples. For example, uh, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Uh, sodium is metal. Chloride is non-metal, right? So metal with non-metal. So this is uh, ionic bond. Ionic bond. And that's how we identify ionic bond and a covalent bond. Eh? Okay, ionic bond formed between uh, metal and non-metal. Okay, I give you another one. Eh? Okay, magnesium oxide. Can any of you tell me, this is ionic bond or not ionic bond? Magnesium oxide, ionic or non-ionic? Is ionic, right? Okay, that is because there is metal and non-metal. Another one. C. 2H5OH. Okay. Ionic or non ionic? Okay. The second one is this ionic. Eh? This is alcohol, eh? ethanol. Non ionic, eh? Non ionic. How about metal and metal? Metal and metal, they do not form chemical bond. So there's no bonds between metal and met metal. Eh? So you don't have to worry about metal and metal. Um, for metal, eh, there is an another type of bond, it's called metallic bond. Eh? Metallic bond is more like intermolecular forces eh, than a chemical bond. So when we discuss chemical bond, we do not discuss this uh, metallic bond. Eh. Metallic bond is the bond between uh, atoms and atom of a metal. But that's not considered chemical bond. Eh. That's more like an uh, intermolecular force. Okay, so this uh, alcohol is non-ionic. Non eh. Okay, so I think all of you got it correct, right? Non-ionic. What's intermolecular force? Intermolecular force is a force between molecules. For example, sir, this is a molecule. Okay, let's say we have another ethanol. Okay, another ethanol. So there is a force between this uh, molecule, eh? this molecule with this molecule, and this force is called intermolecular force. It's not a chemical bond. Eh? It's just a force between one molecule uh, with another molecule. Uh, is this a C2H5OH a covalent compound? Yes. This is covalent compound. Non-metal with non-metal is covalent. Eh? Okay. Metal with non-metal is ionic. Non-metal with non-metal is covalent. Eh? We don't have metal with metal. Eh? So this is examples of uh, ionic compound. Eh? Okay. For example, you see sodium. Sodium, it throw away one electron, then the charge become positive one. Eh? Chlorine, it receives this electron from sodium. Eh? Okay, you see all the other electrons are crossed, right? But then this one is, uh, which is uh, the electrons, okay? It's a circle, right? Small circle here. So these electrons come from this sodium. Sodium throw away this electron, the charge become positive one. Eh? And this chlorine receives the electron, then the charge become negative one. Positive and negative, eh, they will attract, right? Okay, so then so this uh, sodium will attract chlorine. So then this is uh, how the ionic compounds look like. There's one metal, there's one non-metal, okay? And then each one, okay, you need to know the charge. Okay, so those compounds eh, formed by ionic bond is called the ionic compound, okay? And uh, sometimes the ionic bond is also called the electrovalent bond, eh, okay? In exam, sometimes they don't tell you that it's ionic compounds, okay? But uh, then uh, they, they may use the word elect electrovalence, eh? So you need to know ionic compounds or electrovalence compound or ionic bond, electrovalent bond, eh? they are the same thing. Eh? Okay, this ionic and electrovalence. All positive element is metal. Uh, elements is like uh, sodium, okay, this element. Eh? Okay. If it's nitrate, then this is not, not element. Eh? This nitrate, 
this is not element. If it's not element, uh, yes, it's uh, non metal, but it still ca it still carry charge. Eh? Or ammonia, if you want positive charge and ammonium, sorry, ammonium. Okay, uh, this one carry positive charge. Okay, it's non metal, but this is this is not element. Okay, this is not element. If element, yes, uh, it's positive for metal. There's another types of bond. It's called a covalent bond. Eh? And covalent bonds form between non-metal and non-metal, eh? okay? And it bond, uh, it's it's produced by sharings of electrons. For example, hydrogen has only one electron. Then when it share electron with this oxygen, then it has two, right? This hydrogen also share, okay? Then it has two, uh, okay? And then how about the other the other electrons, eh? Uh, if it's already achieved octet, eh, then it, it won't share anymore. Eh? For example, oxygen, eh? It has a one, two, three, four, five, six electron, right? Okay, so it share with uh, hydrogen. Uh, then it has two more electron. Then it become octet already, right? So if it's octet already, then it won't share anymore. Hydrogen, uh, it carry positive charge, uh, but it's non metal. This is a, this is an exceptional case, uh, exceptional case. As I told you before, uh, when we learn periodic tables, uh, this hydrogen is a, is an exceptional case, uh, and then it has a uh, it does not belong to any group. It does not belong to any group in a periodic table. So this is an exceptional case. So other than metals, uh, and hydrogens elements, uh, are also positive. So we have learned why atoms they want to form chemical bond. They want to form chemical bond is because they are not stable. They are not stable is because the the uh, uh, arrangements of electron is not octet. So if they are not octets, they will try to become octet, and they try to become octet by uh, releasing or re, uh, or receivings or uh, share electrons uh, in the chemical reactions, and they form chemical bond. That's why they form bond, eh? okay? Because they are not stable, and after they form the bond, then they become stable.